CJ brought another scotch. Yeah, uh, this episode sponsored by uh, my old man, Big Reg, aka the Fridge. Shout out to Big Reg. Yeah, so uh, thank you, Aberfeldy. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, yeah, you're you're on your own on that pronunciation. It's a Highland Scotch whiskey. That's all I know. Yeah, so same same. Oh, baby, the uh, the same. I guess like type of whiskey as or Scotch as the last one. Oh, perfect. I thought you were handing it to me. Mm-mm. I hear the ice cream, man. He parks directly outside of our house. Yeah, I bet he does. He knows Antonio lives here. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. That smells really good. Mm-hmm. Another high review coming at you. Did you try it already? <laughs> no, I haven't. That's, yeah, that's great. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the other one better. Yeah. It's also good in its own way. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm tasting. I I got a little vanilla in there. Yeah, something like that. Like something sweet. A little more burny oh, than yeah. the last one. I was just it's it's warm. Yeah. Which doesn't really help on the day of today. Well, I'm I'm hot out there. I'm gonna go sacrilege. I'm gonna Definitely have ice with the next one or throw ice into this one. Yeah, throw After ice in it. My dad said if you put a drop of water in it, it's pretty good. Makes it better. He's going to dump that no, I'm not. whole fucking thing in. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I try? No, I'm good. <laughs> Scared. Yeah. Because hey, you did that one so good, I'm going to get like half the bottle in there. Now, for those that don't know, apparently adding like a drop or a couple of drops of water um, brings out the flavor. Yeah, it gets the oils activating and all this uh, fucking all the chemistry, weird, weird fucking science all the shit. shit that we don't know anything about. Yeah, we talk about ancient civilizations and aliens. We don't know that shit. we know nothing about really. <laughs> We're just espousing fucking crackpot theories allegedly. That's really good. What's the first one? The Virgin. Mm-hmm. I want to go with smell first. Smells uh, smells easy on this one. Yeah, is it? I'm going uh, eight four on the smell. I'm a little lower than you. Yeah. Um, I'm like a seven nine. Okay. This one has a bit more of the alcohol smell. Yeah. But it smells good. It does smell good. It does. It's not like. Whew. Yeah. No, I hear you on that. Problem with these reviews. It's so hard to just look at one for what it is. It really is. And not compare it to like something the week before or something, something similar. similar. Yeah. It's like it's hard to just like as if this is the first time ever trying this like yeah. scotch. Yeah. Eight four you said? I think yeah. I think that's yeah, I think that goes for anything that you try and review. Mm-hmm. It always ends up you always end up comparing it to something else. Like I've watched like some like before I bought my irons, I was trying to see what was good out there and what might be in the range that I should be looking at. Yeah. And it was hard to like, cause they always compare to all oh, like they feel really good. Well, what are you comparing your feel to? Mm-hmm. I've got a $400 pair of tailor maids that I've been hitting my entire life. And they feel good. And they feel like I <laughs> didn't think they felt bad at all. Yeah. If you want to scooch? You might be pushing out of frame. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That's better. Um, Hello again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like, well, like w- you've hit like every club on the market, and you probably played the best irons or the ones that you think feel the best and hit the best for you. So it's a little hard to. I played with like twelve year old irons, Nike irons that were heavy, yeah, and like not good by today's standards. And I hit them really well, and I hit them forever, and, and they felt great, and they felt great. I loved right? them. Yeah. So it's like, what are you comparing them? In to? In fact, so. I still use the gap wedge from that. Dude, I'm sorry. I, I I use my uh, but wedges are wedges don't generally come with a set. You get a pitching wedge and a set of irons. Y- yeah. But. So my brother just got a new set of irons and um, it went down to a gap wedge. So like that's pretty low. So when P just in and between then like a in, or G. In, in between a sand wedge and a P. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine says but A it, on it, which is like an approach wedge, but same it's a gap shit. wedge. Yeah, same, same shit. Same shit. Just yeah. different fucking names. Yeah, which I don't understand. Like, can we just settle on a name? No. Or? 
it like varies company to company. It's like too some, easy to some do call it, like it an approach wedge, some call it a fucking gap wedge. It's like, yo, let's just settle on something. Or at here. least fucking tell me what degree it is. You can look like, them up. I know. Come but on. that's what I did with my well, brother. I'm a s so, I'm a fucking sap. Like I'm a big fan <laughs> of golf, but yeah. like I don't like people tell me, Oh yeah, I just bought this like forty three degree wedge and I'm like, Is it, what cool. is that? It's like a pitching wedge. Yeah. Of, yeah. Uh, like Yeah. Okay, why don't you just say pitching wedge? Yeah. Or can I don't, we, yeah, or can I, we I, get I, rid of pitching wedge and just use 43 degrees so we know what the fuck we we're talking about? Or can we just use degrees in general? Well, whatever. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So uh, Mike got new irons, and Mike's notorious to be like... Um, Sorry. Yeah, that's kind of rude. I was talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike will always be like, oh, what are you hitting? Or what would you hit? And I looked at his clubs because I had a feeling because they're not like... Shouldn't say they're like not high end, like they're last year's clubs or last year's models on sale and then on clearance on top of that. Yeah, so but even a, with the technology, they're still probably way better than what he had, even if or they're in the lower it's side. Better than mine because I got mine years ago. Yeah, who knows? So I looked up just to like compare the lofts because I didn't want to be like, yeah, I hit a nine iron and his nine irons like my eight iron or maybe like my pitching wedge. You know, so like it could be a club difference, and sure enough, it was. It was, I. Right? Yeah. So his like, if I, if I'm, if I was hitting a nine, I would tell him to hit a a pitching wedge. Fuck. Because the lofts, that's like how close yeah. the lofts were. Like they were off like a club. Now I want to look at the fucking loft of my clubs, and no. Yeah, because it, it based on the old ones. Because Mike was like, "What would you hit?" I'm like, "I would hit a nine, so maybe hit a pitching wedge, or you could hit like a soft nine. Yeah. Like, don't swing for the fences. Like, I find you fuck those shots up more than anything. That, like, I'm just going to hit like a three quarter. Oh, I hate doing three quarters. I'd, I'd, I'd rather in between just. clubs, just fucking swing full on one. Yeah, I'd rather just, or just swing easy, like, or not try easy. to fucking yeah. just, like, pelt it, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, reviews. So it's, mm-hmm. like, it, it's tough to. Everything. Yeah. I'm it's like, Mike, you got to hit them. Like, you don't know if you're going to like them. They could feel like fucking shit but you can't fucking swing in the simulators right now so they're like nope so he just really missed. yeah simulators shut down not really sure why you can still pick up clubs off the this. shelves there's just go. a sign like please refrain from picking up all the clubs mm. but like you still gotta like yeah I don't know I don't like it oh, okay do you taste chocolate with this Chocolate, or am I on drugs? Well, maybe because you just said that. I, I, I don't see. Yeah, I've just fucking I kind of just tasted your... fucking chocolate, which is kind of cool if there is chocolate in it. I don't know if there is. I just I, there's a flavor in there that I can't. I don't know what you it can't is. put your finger on. Yeah, the virgin's high for me. Um, all right, I don't know if it's gonna be like super high, but it was. Uh, I'm gonna go eight six on the virgin. Yeah, first impression it, was really high for. I'm just gonna. Yeah, go like it was five. really high. It, it could have been higher, but um, the uh, that initial like burn took me by a little surprise. I wasn't expecting a little it. smack to the cheek, which I don't know why I wasn't expecting it because you could smell the. <laughs> you could smell it. You, you could. <laughs> you, you could smell could, it coming. You could smell the burn. Um, flavor is really high on me for this. Yeah, I think it, it's got good flavor. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, I'm like an eight point. Eight point. <laughs> Six. Yeah, I was gonna go seven. I I was I'm gonna go seven. Eight point seven. Eight point seven. Yeah, it's good. It's sweet. Yeah. I, I I wasn't sure I'd be a big fan of like the sweet uh flavor in the whiskeys, but after having some like last week's where you could it was very prominent. I had a glass of wild turkey last night, and then I followed it with a glass of Bushmills. Yeah, and I didn't. And I, that's when you can tell how fucking sweet some bourbons are. Yeah. Big Which difference. one was sweeter? Oh, the turkey, I thought. Yeah? Yeah. I know, because I went with that one, and I had the next one. I'm like, fuck. I haven't really, I, I usually just drink a bottle. Well. You know, like, I, I don't yeah. really like. Well, oh. I had, there was like two ounces left in the wild <laughs> yeah. turkey bottle, and I wanted another drink of something. So you got to move to a different So I had to move to a different thing. <laughs> I don't generally like go yeah. around like, oh, I'll have some of this. Uh, I'll have some so of that. No, I'll yeah, just yeah. stick with one. Yeah. <laughs> That's this is hilarious. very smooth. This is nine point two. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna match you on that one. It yeah. is. And finish. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go I, I for gotta reevaluate that. That finish is really. I got nothing wrong with that finish. No. I'm going. Uh, ooh. Going nine three, on the finish. Eight point nine for me. Yeah. Actually, nine. Just a nine point zero. Yeah. Nine flat. Yeah, it's really good. That is really good. It's a great fucking whiskey. I'm I'm a big fan. I do want to try. Rob was telling me that the uh, Islas are like more smoky, and um, mm -hmm. I guess like more bold and harsh on the flavor. I guess where the Highlands are more like sweet and floral. I think that's what he said. But uh, I do want to try an Isla. So I think uh, I think for our one year, I'll uh, pick us up a nice bottle. A just nice Google Isla. like a smoky. Yeah. Thing. That or I'll just ask him because he he did uh, he was drinking a lot of whiskeys. Um, yeah, he was a legitimate for a connoisseur. While. Yeah, sorry, I, I remember going to Wayne Gretzky's with him and trying all those whiskeys. Oh, the distillery. Yeah, he yeah, was the winery, and he was giving the guy a hard time a little bit. Yeah, well, he was right. <laughs> you were right, getting mad at him, <laughs> but he was right though. I know you were getting mad at him and like just let the guy do his job. <laughs> <laughs> 8.8 8. all right all right so my overall is an 8.8 8. and i am an 8.6 i think it's a perfect representation of this yeah it, it, this is a i don't know the plus. price so i can't I, I i didn't look it up before i came so you guys will have to uh check out the instagram posts plug plug that was a good plug <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll have to check out the instagram post because i'm guessing yeah I'm pretty sure it's going to fall in between uh, a three and a four on the price. And for those that, who don't know, uh, one the one dollar sign is zero to uh, I believe we said forty. Yeah, just I wrote of, these fucking down yeah, too. That's fine. And, and then it's like forty, forty to sixty, sixty, and 60 then like 90, sixty to ninety, 90 and plus. Then ninety plus. So. My guess is this is either like eighty dollar range or uh, just over ninety. Yeah, I don't. Um, your dad bought this for a weekend away with his buddies, right? Yeah, I can't imagine he he didn't spare too many expenses. No, 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 no. no. I don't think if so. it came recommended and if if it cost eighty, <clears throat> if it cost forty, he was probably going to buy it. So yeah. Well, they always uh, him and his buddies. They always do like a little golf. I don't know. He always says tour, and they play like th over three days, three different courses, and usually I think. I think it, they just vary like fucking Timothy will bring a bottle one year and mm -hmm. fucking Jonathan will bring it. these are, I have no idea. I can't remember their names. But. I think you, I think you nailed, <laughs> you it. nailed it. I'm pretty sure that's their names. 